Hi, welcome to Chard Review. At the start of the movie, we are introduced to the protagonist, Lin Bohue, who has a major crush on her childhood friend Sean. She always wanted to be with him and will go to any extent to win him over, but unfortunately her love is one-sided. Even after all these years, Lin still harbors strong feelings for Sean. When she learns that Chong is hospitalized and is in a coma, she visits him every day and takes care of him. During one of these visits, Lin crosses paths with another childhood friend, Zero. It's revealed that Lin, Zero and Sean's used to be best friends as kids, but they eventually drifted apart. The two young women catch up on each other's lives. When Zero learns about Chang's condition, she asks Lin if she likes him. In response, our heroine says that there is nothing going on between them. In fact, Shang is from a wealthy family and is heir to the famous Shaw group of China, and she is from a humble background, so there can never be anything between them. After chatting for a while, Lin leaves to return to the hospital, while Zero, who has just learned that Song is now the heir to China's mega business, has a wicked plan in mind. In the next scene, Lin is at the hospital checking on Chang's vital signs and taking care of him. She starts to cry because she cannot stand to see her love in such a state. Regardless, she musters all her courage and hopes for the better. Sometime later, Chong finally regains consciousness. As he opens his eyes, he sees Zero in front of him. While in the coma, he could send someone crying and praying for him. Zero makes him believe that it was her who did all those things. She sits there and takes all the credit while manipulating Shong into falling in love with her. One day, Lin is on her way to the hospital when she suddenly sees Zero and Shong walking hand in hand. Heartbroken, she turns around to leave, but senses someone following her. When she looks back, it's a friend of hers, Myung, who happens to be the second male hottie, I mean lead, of the movie. Myung abruptly asks her to be his girlfriend. Lin says that she's aware of his feelings, but he's just not her type. Curious, Myung asks her what she doesn't like about him. That way he can change it. Lin admits that she likes someone else. Meanwhile, Zero and Chong overhear their conversation. Zero interrupts him and says that she and Sean are dating, even though Lin used to have a huge crush on Sean. When Sean asks if this is true, Lin dodges the question, telling him that that was long ago. Myung then tells a couple that he and Lin just reconnected, and he is now her new boyfriend. Lin thinks he's joking, but Zero applauds her for moving on so quickly. Feeling awkward, our heroine leaves without saying anything. Later, Lin receives a text from a drunken Sean, asking her to come help him. Out of obligation, she goes to his address and picks him up. However, the sloppy Sean kisses her, pushing her onto the couch. The next morning, Lin finds herself in Chang's bedroom with him lying next to her. At the same time, Zero and Chang's mother arrive at the room. Zero accuses him of cheating, but he tries to explain that it's not what it looks like. Using this to her advantage, Zero pours on the drama and threatens to break up with them before exiting the bedroom. Sean is now furious at Lin, blaming her for what happened. Dumbfounded, Lin tries to talk to him, but he runs after Zero. Lin then apologizes to Chang's mother, explaining that she was only trying to help him when she received a text from him last night. Chang's mother tells her not to worry and reveals a secret. It turns out that mother was the one who set all this up. Apparently, she doesn't like Siru and wants her out of her and her son's life. She also shows some photos of Zero with another man. It's revealed that Zero is pregnant with her secret lover's baby and she is only pursuing Shong for his money. Zero wants a piece of the Shaw Group's fortune and will use the baby to do it. Chang's mother also knows that Lin has liked her son since childhood, so she thought Lin would be happy with the plan. However, our heroine correctly believes it requires a mutual and voluntary choice to be together. Regardless, Chang's mother manages to convince Lin into marrying. Song for at least a year later, Sean confronts Lin, accusing her of manipulating his mother to get her way. He then warns our poor heroine that their marriage will be the worst decision she ever made. There will be nothing but suffering in this marriage. The following day, Lin is beautifully clad in her wedding dress. Shong, with a long face, reluctantly takes the wedding vows and marries her. For the next few days, Sean is obnoxious to Lin and continues to insult her. He even brings over a mistress and disrespects her. One day after work, he approaches Lin and informs her that his mom wants her to be new personal secretary this means Lin has to follow Sean all the time, keeping up with him and keeping him on task. Chang's mother wants nothing more than to fix their relationship. The following day at work, Lin is being harassed by a client. When she stands up for herself, 
the client hits her in the face, knocking her to the floor. This is witnessed by Shong, who immediately comes to help Lin. After all, she is his wife and he won't tolerate this kind of behavior. That evening, Chang's mother visits the couple at their apartment. She gives them tickets to a ball, hoping that the couple can spend a lovely evening with each other. However, Sean refuses to go to the ball with Lin, so he hands over a ticket to her and keeps another one for himself, suggesting that they attend the party separately. Next, Lin arrives at the masquerade ball wearing a mask. She then starts dancing with a guy who turns out to be Mi Young behind the mask. Mi Young, who is aware that the mask girl is Lin, starts talking about unrequited love. He ponders why some people keep waiting for the person they love, even though they know that that love will never be reciprocated. In response, Linen enlightens him on selfless. The pair then talk about their love lives when suddenly Shong interrupts them and hugs Lin from behind. Worried, he asks her where she's been this whole time. Shane believes Lin is actually his ex-girlfriend Zero, but when he unmasks her, she turns out to be none other than his wife, Lin. Embarrassed, he apologizes to her and abruptly leaves. Later, Lin finds him sitting alone in the streets and drinking. She approaches him and guesses that he must be upset for not being able to be with Zero. It's revealed that Shang still likes Zero. He tells her that she doesn't know him like she thinks she does. He continues to explain to her how much he hates her, but Lin tells him that it doesn't matter to her and suggests they head back home. However, Sean, still hurting over his breakup, pulls her back and kisses her, but when he realizes that she's not Zero, he apologizes to her. Thankfully for him, Zero approaches, showing the next day, wanting to get back with him. She makes a surprise visit to his place where she encounters Lin. She reveals that she will be staying at Chang's place from now on, and that she will marry him as soon as he divorces. Lin, our poor heroine, is understandably devastated, so she leaves. The following day, Chang's maid informs him that Lin didn't come home last night. Shang seems worried, so he tells Zero that he will be back after finding Lin. He feels certain that he doesn't have any feelings for Lin, but he does have a responsibility to take care of her, at least until their divorce. Later, Lin shows up, but of course Sean lashes out at her. He asks her where she's been all night, but Lin ignores him as it's no longer his concern. Shang then shows her a picture of her and Myon and yells at her saying that she could have at least waited until their divorce to be with another man, then explains that it was her. Birthday yesterday, someone had organized a party for her. Chang's jealousy erupts when she mentions Myon as the argument continues to escalate. Zero interrupts them, advising Lin to keep a low profile so as not to create any scandal which could threaten Chang's business. Hearing all this, Lin becomes enraged, so she suggests they part ways as soon as possible. The next day, Sean's mother confronts Zero, letting her know that she is aware of her devious plot. She also shows the picture of the gold digger Zuru and her lover, exposing her scheme to manipulate Chong into falling in love with her and marrying her. Zero is then told to get out of the house. Worried that Sean will find out, Zero pushes his mother. As a result, the elderly woman hits her head on a statue and is knocked unconscious. Lin arrives at the scene and is alarmed to see her mother-in-law bleeding on the floor. She cries out for help and begs Zero to call an ambulance. However, Zero stands still, letting the woman bleed and even possibly die. She then bangs her own head on the wall, hurting herself and making it look like Lin is behind all of this. Her plan is successful when Shane arrives just at the wrong moment and misunderstands the situation. He then blames Lin for hurting his mother in Zero. Lin is devastated as Sean continues to berate and disrespect her. Meanwhile, Sean's mother and Zero are transported to the hospital due to her injuries. Chang's mother goes into a coma the following day. Lin falls sick to her stomach, so she is also admitted to the hospital. Much to her surprise. She learns that she is pregnant with Sean's baby, so Lin decides not to divorce Sean at the moment. 804. Elsewhere Zero, who is back in good health, meets with her. Great lover Chan and discusses their plot to steal Sean's wealth. She worries that Sean could accept Lin as his wife now that she is pregnant with his child. Furthermore, he has been ignoring Zero's advances for a while now. Realizing that Lin is the main problem, the evil couple decides to remove her from the equation. Meanwhile, Lin starts spending more time with Mi Young, who actually cares for her. One evening when they are returning home after dinner, a mysterious man bumps into Mi Young and drops his purse. The latter goes after the man to return the purse. While Mi Young is distracted, Lin is kidnapped by another man, who turns out to be none other than Zero's lover, Chan. 
the evil guy starts suffocating her, telling her that Zero wants her dead and that she is behind this entire scheme. Cut to the next scene, Lin suddenly wakes up in a hospital. It turns out that the young risked his life to save her last night. Myung is also admitted to the hospital and is recovering from the injuries he sustained while fighting off the bad guys. This is the last straw for Lin. She finally decides to stand up for herself and take revenge on Zuru, who has crossed the line a final time outside the hospital. And comes across Zero when Shaw. She tells Zero that she must be surprised to see her alive. However, the evil girl pretends to care about her instead. Next, Lin hires a man to assault Chan and then pretends to rescue him. She tricks him into believing that Zero is responsible for this attack. Surprisingly, Chan believes her because he knows Zebra would do nasty things to get her way. Later, Chan meets with Chong and reveals that he is Zero's lover. However, the ignorant Sean doesn't believe him and tells him to come back with proof. Sean does so when he sets up Suru. And has her admit the truth in front of Sean. She confesses that she put Sean's mother in a coma, kidnapped and attacked Lin, lied about her baby's real father, and took credit for Lin's dedicated care at the hospital while he was in a coma. Chong is shocked and outraged. He immediately kicked Zero out of the house and finally realizes how much Lin cared and loved him. Filled with guilt, he hurries to meet Lin and beg for forgiveness. But on the way he comes across Mi Young, who tells him to leave Linda alone as she will be happier without him in her life. In the meantime, Lin refuses to see Shang anymore. That she doesn't want to raise a child with someone so toxic to her. The final scene of the movie shows Lin and Mi Young walking down the street, where he at first asked her out. This time, though, Lin asks him to be her boyfriend, to which Myung gladly accepts. Please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. Thank you for watching.